quick reminder to you all that we are doing a Rebel Clash ETP giveaway this week. So if you haven't checked out Monday's video, I'll put a link down below and make sure you do enter. We'll announce the winner on Friday. Best of luck. What's up, Turtle here, coming at you with another Pokemon video. As you can tell from this, it's probably gonna be another Hidden Fates opening. And I just wanna show this real quick. Uh, we filled this entire binder with our Hidden Fates Master Set plus something else. If you haven't checked out this video, I recommend you do. But basically, we finished the raw set master collection of like all the shinies and everything, every, everything in the shiny vault. And now I'm considering all right, how much of an effort will it be to put together a master PSA set? Uh, currently, PSA is having one of their quarterly specials, so you can submit Pokemon cards for the low price of $750. And you know, we've done so many Hidden Fates giveaways that I'm not sure I've, I'm not sure how confident I am that we could even pick up a Master Nine set. So maybe we need to pick up some more. <clears throat> Some more shinies to send into PSA. So we're gonna open three tins for this video to make sure we can have enough for, I think you can submit by end of June for that special rate. So hoping to send a couple submissions, bulk submissions to them. And, but yeah, we need some more cards to send. So we're opening up 12 packs. Obviously, we're hoping for the Charizard, but as far as that part of the PSA collection, I think we have the hardest part covered, but we're going to need some of the other ones. Uh, I could just pick them up on the secondary market, I mean, whether it's the PSA or Raw, but obviously, it's much more fun to pull them ourselves. So we'll see if we can't do just that with 12 packs to open. But yeah, hope everyone's having a good day, and I just once again want to give a huge thank you to everyone that supports the channel. Uh, even if you just do it by simply subscribing to the channel, uh, obviously we hit that hundred that, or that thousand sub threshold very recently. So uh, yeah, it's been a long time coming, about so, a little over 500 days to get there. But really happy to have made it to this point, and I want to thank you all for that. Uh, obviously, we're doing some Rebel Clash giveaways right now, but once those are all done, we'll do something special for our 1,000 sub celebration. Alright, we got three Charizards. And let's get into these packs. First pack, here we go. Hoping for shiny GXs. Obviously, those are always the goal, but with the specific intention of sending them off to PSA. So we're looking for good centering and all that jazz as well. And I'm not sure what I just did, but <clears throat> kind of messed that up. All right, first pack, we have a golem for the rare slots. And okay, shiny poiple. Uh, let's see, PSA 10. I feel like it's a bit off centered, so maybe not. And I probably need to find some sleeves for these guys. I okay, hope everyone's having a good day. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get back to whatever the new norm is going to be. Hopefully we can get there real soon. Um, yeah, that was very much incorrect. Actually, maybe we can skip the commons for this opening. Kind of speed it up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Shiny Guzzlord. I really like this one. Even though there's not a lot of contrast between the Pokemon because he is white. Um, I like the shiny, how it's like, you know, white and then orange on top. Uh, because like all of them have the same background, I think it's kind of lost a little bit, but I like the shiny Guzzlord nonetheless. Um, from the front, it looks like this edge might be a little thicker than that one. Let's take a look at the back. Back looks pretty good though. Maybe the top is a little bit thicker than the bottom. I'll take a closer look later, see, try to evaluate whether or not this would have a good chance at a 10. <clears throat> but so far, two for two. And yes, you know, Rebel Clash is still not that old, and why are we doing Hidden Fates already? It's because it's just so fun to open this set. You know, just the amount of hits you pull, you can't beat it. Alright, so this is the shiny slot, and you can tell this is pretty off-center. So I'm not sure we're going to get anything good from, or even if we do pull a shiny, it might not be a good PSA candidate. Ooh, we do get a Wigglytuff, and then just a Reverse Energy. Okay, we've opened three packs, and this first tin is amazing. 
four hits out of three packs. And uh, yeah, that's why we love opening this set. And you know, we've covered this before. There was clearly some kind of another print run of tins. And so I figured we'd get ahead of it a little bit. I imagine there's gonna be a lot more Hidden Fates opening in the near future, given this more influx of supply. And I do think that, you know, with the prices being what they are right now, in my head I'm thinking like, oh man, if I sent everything to be graded like three months ago and then had a huge uh, supply of PSA cards for right now, we could like potentially sell all of them, assuming like, all right, we finish our collection, then we have additional ones to potentially offload. And so we're kind of behind on that. And if you're, hey, let's get started. We got that quarterly special. So we can do things at a significantly reduced price. And we got a reverse energy for darkness energy. So far, this is a very strong opening. Five, five hits with a with an asterisk. Two like real hits, and then four or three other, you know, ones that we're happy about. <clears throat> Alright, about halfway through this opening. All right, let's see. Okay, Giovanni's Exile. While I do like this art, the boss's order one is better. So there we go, Erica's Hospitality. Well, I'm not sure how impressive a PSA 10 Giovanni would be, but I feel like this one is pretty good. The edges look really good. Centering looks good. Uh, I feel like most modern card surface is usually fine, especially when they're textured cards. All right, this is going very well. Big shout out to everyone that follows the Twitch stream, especially if you are sub to the channel. Uh, if you haven't caught any of our streams, we do it Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And we are toying with the idea of doing a regular stream on Friday where we actually do a live opening. Last time we did it at 7 p.m. again. I'm wondering if that's the best time. We'll try to figure out what works best for everyone. Okay, we're getting so many hits, it's struggling to find enough space on the screen. Maybe we need to move this up here. Alright, let's see. Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee. Ooh, Jesse and James. We got both rocket cards. And another shiny. Oh my gosh, these tins are great. Um, this Jesse and James looks pretty good. I feel again like the top might be a little bit thicker. Shiny swab blue. I have no idea how difficult it is to grade these as 10, but this one looks pretty good. All right, so yeah, this is all from just three tins. We still got one tins worth. So from two tins, all these hits, definitely a successful opening. Uh, unfortunately, I do think it'll be quite some time, even though once we get all these cards together and ready for PSA, then we send off. It could be many, many months before we get them back. What the heck? <laughs> uh, yes, we got Jesse and James again. Oh my gosh, another double whammy pack. Another full art supporter in the rare slot and then the shiny slot. We got another non-GX shiny. And these look very good once again. So one thing I wanted to see was if the tins that I had, if they're susceptible to the... There was a print run. I know that TCA did a video specifically on this topic where packs were lacking the reverse slot unless you got a shiny. So if your reverse was just going to be, whatever, a common reverse, that it was replaced with just a non-reverse common, but so far we haven't had that, although we've been getting so many all right, things from the reverse slot. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven out of, what, nine packs? <laughs> so it's kind of hard to tell, but we haven't seen it so far. And uh, this opening has been amazing. We got an Arbuck and then a Mewtwo. Oh my, this is amazing opening. This one is definitely off center. Uh, it's a little bit hard to tell from the, the back, but from the front you can see 
kind of like the distance between the edge and this line compared to there the top is much thinner so definitely not a p or unlikely to get psa 10 we'll take a look at the one we have in our binder master collect master set uh maybe that one is a better candidate but uh this we pulled one of these way back when i think i gave it away in a giveaway and it took a really long time i think i had to pick this up off the secondary market to finally get it for my master collection but yeah we've run out of space on the screen to display all the hits so definitely a very good opening we still got two packs remaining all right but yes make sure you are okay so we do have a re reverse slot all right last pack make sure you are entered to win the rebel clash etb and that's the winner friday and here we go for the last pack of this amazing opening we have magmar star you ekans eevee pikachu clefairy a zapdos hollow and then just a bills analysis all right that's a lot of really strong cards for this hidden fates opening and as far as like yeah why do you always open the hidden fates it's hard to <laughs> how can you stay away when you have openings like this on a regular basis uh so that's gonna be it for today's video as always guys thanks for watching thanks for all the support on the channel recently i really appreciate it i'm wanna turtle and i'll catch you guys next time